And this is pertaining to the Sterlite factory in Tuticorin. Madras High Court has issued notices to the Environment Ministry, Customs Department, also the Pollution Control Board and the Tamil Nadu government. And these notices are in response to a writ petition that was filed by a Tutikori re resident against Sterlite. Now, this petition seeks to quash the environmental clearance that was granted to Sterlite in 2007 for their existing smelter unit. And Pramod continues to be with us. Uh, Pramod, the, what are these issue, uh, notices all about and uh, what does the petition speak about? Well, as you might know, back in uh, Madras High Court, uh, two months ago, what happened is that Madras High Court Madhuri Bench uh, gave a stay on the construction of Phase 2 for Sterlite. Six months before that, what happened is that another uh, a kind of commotion started in uh, Tutukurin, claiming that even the current uh, uh, current uh, structure of the Sterlite factory that is operate, operating in a SIP court unit in Tutukurin was not following the norms. In fact, like not uh, having the accurate level of water waste, I mean, uh, uh, like uh, uh, solid waste management uh, efficiency or the, uh, the, the high of the chimney which is supposed to be as to the uh, level of uh, uh, produce that has been created in that area the copper actually those things were not maintained these were uh, uh, these data were taken and were kept but it was not filed but right now they have brought this file uh, their data and a person called Prince Cordosa from Tutukurin is the one who has filed this PIL with Madras High Court Madhuri Bench claiming that the level uh, the height of the chimney was not increased as per the uh, number of I mean the uh, amount of uh, copper that was produced which means the arsenic that is being released into the and sulfur or sulfur dioxide which was released into the air did contaminate Utakurin. The second point he maintains is that 172 acres is what Starlight has informed the Environment Clearance Board stating that that's why they need EC for uh, operating over there. But Prince Cordosa maintains that it is not 172 acres that Starlight has but only 102.7 acres and that itself is uh, breaking the law. So based on all these, the Environment Clearance that was given to the company back in 2007 should be cancelled immediately. And this puts all the authorities, all the bodies under the scanner as well and which is why the Madras High Court has issued notices uh, to the state government, the customs department as well as to the pollution control board uh, which despite all these uh, you know, discrepancies had given out a clearance to this particular smelter unit, Pramod. Well, it surely is. If this is proved to be uh, correct, then a lot of heads will start to roll because, as you might know, 170 to uh, 79, uh, uh, 72 acres of land is specified for certain region. You need to have a solid uh, waste management system, uh, liquid waste management system, and you also have to have a certain level of height of the chimney based on the amount of copper that is being produced. Copper here, because it's a copper smelter, and it releases a lot of harmful gases, especially sulfur dioxide. And you cannot breathe sulfur dioxide. It immediately causes a lot of trouble. And this sulfur dioxide Oxide, if it mixes with the water uh, uh, droplets in the clouds, it becomes sulfuric acid. It's a highly corrosive element and all those issues are there. And that's the reason the chimney is supposed to be of a certain height. The, uh, the land, I mean, the, the factory should have a certain amount of land to treat all these uh, uh, these uh, compounds that could ca cause harm to the uh, land and water before releasing it to the environment. So based on these points, this particular petitioner has brought in another PIL, which might, there is a possibility that if he proves uh, uh, that uh, whatever pointers he has bringing it out is correct will become a, a big challenge for Sterlite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Pramodha. Thanks for joining in and getting us those inputs there.